Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how to determine the densities of regular and irregular solid objects. Now, this is a required practical and it could come up as an exam question, so it's important that you learn the details. In the last video, we looked at density and we saw that the density of material tells us the mass for a given volume. We calculate density using this equation. The density equals the mass in kilograms divided by the volume in meters cubed. The unit of density is kilograms per meter cubed. And remember that you're not given this equation in the exam. So in this video, we're looking at how we can determine the density of objects. Now, objects can be divided into two broad categories. Regular objects, such as this cube, have got dimensions which are easy to measure. So we could easily measure the length of each side using a ruler. With irregular objects, such as this vase, we cannot easily measure their dimensions. We're going to look at how to deal with irregular objects later. So let's look at how to determine the density of regular objects such as the cube. Remember that the density is the mass divided by the volume, so first we need to determine the mass. We can do that easily by using a balance such as this one. Imagine that the cube has a mass of 0.5 kilograms. Now we need to work out the volume of the cube. To do that we use a ruler to measure the length of the side like this. The length of each side of this cube is 120 millimetres, in other words, 0.12 metres. The volume equals the length of the side cubed. So 0.12 cubed gives us a volume of 0.001728 metres cubed. Putting the mass and the volume into the equation gives us a density of 289.35 kilograms per metre cubed to two decimal places. So as you can see, determining the density of a regular object is relatively straightforward. But what about an irregular object, such as the vase we saw before? In the case of irregular objects, we cannot easily measure the dimensions. Instead, we determine the volume using a method called displacement. So let's look at this now. Just like before, we start by finding the mass of the object using a balance. We then fill a eureka can with water. A eureka can has a spout so the water can flow out of the can. Now we place the object into the water. This will cause water to be displaced and it will flow out of the can through the spout. We now measure the volume of water displaced using a measuring cylinder. This volume is the same as the volume of the object. So now we know both the mass of the object and the volume of the object. That means that we can calculate its density. Remember that you'll find plenty of questions on this assessed practical in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how to determine the densities of regular and irregular solid objects.